Alright, here we go, lads. The Dark Elves. Felhart has come down with his Medusa, and the Lord of Flies has brought his Furies. It is Harrison versus Pigman. Here we go. The final match of the tournament. Unfortunately, Pigman's gonna take it, but how he takes it is actually quite interesting. That's why I want to cast this game. It's a short one, so don't blink. But this matchup, I've always had trouble with because there's just a stupid number of arrows that you really can't deal with. And Pigman realizes immediately and starts pulling back. The only thing he brings forward is this Exalted Flamer, which, believe you me, is actually doing quite a bit of damage. It's only a very weak unit. He's only got 100 value right now, 90 specifically, but the kiting's real. A few Bloodletters take some hits but from the Medusa, but we have overall, and the Medusa point. actually got way more Keep value. From the foe. And now, Harrison's going for the points, as he should early on. Try to get that triple. But my problem right now is, even while doing the stream, while, while this was going on, he needs the pressure. He needs to put the pressure on. Yes, Pigman is in the back of his spawn waiting, and he brought a Herald of Nurgle, which I totally expected, too. A bunch of bloodletters. That's something I haven't tried yet. I've tried a combination of bloodletters and blues. I was thinking Nurglings and blues. Tried to do that. But the Exalted Flamer is actually quite a nasty idea. I didn't expect. Also, doesn't help that this is a very short map. Stumpy map. Nice little, little fire right there. Beautiful fire. And it's just the range and the speed are the biggest problem. Exalted Flamer can just hold them back as long as he needs to weaken them so they can't get as many shots in. Yes, he'll be down on points for some time, but... You know, when it's a tournament, it's cutthroat. You gotta do what you gotta do. Felhart, though, I feel like is a very uh, weird choice. Being on foot, he's easy to just trap. I don't like it. You shouldn't take it lightly. I would have preferred him to be in the force right now because Pigman's Herald of Nurgle has Rancid Visitation, and yeah, that will absolutely melt a foot lord like that with only what, four or five thousand health? Yeah, Felhart's not gonna be around for long. Fiends coming in. As soon as the Fiends show up, I knew. Well, once the first Fiend showed up, showed up I knew exactly what he was doing. You see this on a lot, a lot of high-level gameplay for Dom, where they just build up and try to deal with a faction's units with a giant surround. This is a typical chaos. <laughs> well, I would say chaos, but eh, everything... I don't think Walk does this, but definitely all the Mono God factions do in terms of chaos. Even Beastmen sometimes. Where they just build up to units and then surround to get the big slapping going on. And that's where the Herald of Nurgle comes in with its lo uh, fecundity. Locus of fecundity, I believe it's called. I haven't used them in a while. And yeah, this Exalted Flamer is just... Even though it's not getting insane value, like say a Chainbringer, it's doing its job. It's keeping him at bay until he can build up and then come in with the big push. And I like the Melkoths from Harrison slowing them down, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Melikoth on the other side from the other caster. There should be some counter charging going on, but he's waiting for the Fury, so it actually makes it really tough to deal with. If anything, I would have actually pulled back with everything while the charge came in. Let him lose some of the points now that he's drawn in. Take some shots. Get some counter charges with the uh, with your Vanguard deployment. And this is what I was talking about. Felhart, oh man, he is caught between some blood letters. And that is the last thing he needs to be doing. Look at that! Oh, destroyed! Uh, Exalted Flamer gets some friendly fire right now, but I don't think he's really worried about that. Bleak Sword's trying to hold off Bloodletters and Fiends, and it's just a pile of nope. Harpies, uh, the Crows of Cain, able to beat back Furies with little, a little bit of a problem, but not too big of a problem. Although, uh, it's pretty much done over here on this flank. Yeah, those Bleak Swords are just not going to be enough. Absolutely destroyed. The Fiends are just nutty. Makes me think, um, well, not makes me think, but explains why uh, some tournaments actually do limit the fees down to one, which means they're probably going to get a nerf. And this is what I was talking about. 
You have a Lord, you have Fiends, you have Bloodletters, even with the Medusa beating up on Fiends, it's not going to be enough because there's just too many models dealing with not only the Medusa, but Felhart. And the Herald can, and the Herald, ugh, my voice crack. And the Herald can just do whatever it wants in the air. Yeah, goodbye Felhart, and now it's just a calculated slaughter, <laughs> just a massacre at this point. And this gives me pretty much the answer I've been asking myself. How do I deal with Dark Elves when they can just outnumber me and shoot me with arrows? Because I know Bloodletters were good. Bloodletters will just blender everything in the Dark Elf roster. But the problem is connecting. And even their, even their, uh, what are those, the Black Knights? Uh, Cold One Knights, there we go. Cold One Knights, I don't know why I thought Black Knights. The Cold One Knights will even get, I wouldn't say shredded, but they will trade upwards, or er, Bloodletters will trade upwards into the Cold One Knights. Poor Cold One Knights, just ready to get crumped. Yeah, definitely didn't like Felhard on foot. He was expect- uh, Pigman was expecting a dragon though, so that makes sense. Why he built the way he built. Why he did his build the way he did. And yeah, felhard has gone, so this game's gonna be pretty much over right now. It's just clean up. Harrison's down, I would say 2,000 value, but... That Nurgle Locus of Fecundity is going to do some big healed in a second, you'll see, because look at this big blob, what does Nurgle like the most, besides being stinky, big stinky blobs, <laughs> oh man, it's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, it is what it is, but yeah, this is why I think, uh, next time I fight, do it, no, when I do a tournament, I know I'm definitely going to tournament, definitely going to have to limit things to one, because man, just waiting for players to engage, such a, I don't say, I mean, it's necessary in certain matchups, but it is just not entertaining sometimes. But it is a learning experience. But yeah, I mean, when the way CA balances things, it kind of makes sense why you need to do it. So yeah, definitely thought it was interesting with the Exalted Flame. We're going to have to try that. I'm pretty much going to take <laughs> Pigman's build every time against the Dark Elves. I don't know how Dark Elves now deal with this. Well, actually, I do know, because Pigman told me how to deal with it. Same with Harrison. But, yeah. Well, guys, it's coming to the end here. Hope you enjoyed it. Come join me on the stream by joining the Discord. Come play me 1v1, or just, you know, show some love. Or when we have 2v2s and free-for-alls, all that fun stuff. Alright, folks, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace, and goodbye for now.